Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The start of deliveries of production models of the Airbus Military A400M airlifter is an important development for South African company Danel Aerostructures. Keith Campbell reports. Danel Aerostructures is a partner in the A400M program, supplying major structures for the aircraft. I asked Danel Aerostructures CEO Ismail Dokrat what the start of deliveries of production A400Ms to customer air forces meant for his company. I mean, firstly, I think we're very pleased that we're seeing the aircraft now entering a new phase, right? We've delivered the first aircraft, uh, Airbus has delivered the first aircraft to the French Air Force. The aircraft is now going to be operational and deployable. So I think that's a major milestone for the program. It's a major milestone for, for Airbus. Uh, in demonstrating what this aircraft is capable of for Danel Aerostructures having walked the, 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 this path with, with Airbus towards the, the certification and, uh, and delivery of the aircraft we now in a strong position we believe in terms of our future order book uh, for the supply of the structures that we're responsible for on the program uh, you know through the, through the life of the program. I think you know the key thing is that when you look at the capability that we've had here at Danel for over four decades, uh, that capability developed, uh, you know, very well over that time, and we had a very strong aerospace capability at the end of the 20th century. But as we entered the 21st century, there was a very strong requirement for us to modernize our facilities and to develop manufacturing processes that were in line with the new types of technologies that are being used in aircraft uh, production. The A400M program has given uh, Danel the opportunity uh, to, to, to invest and modernize its capability and to become a you know, world-class, reliable supplier uh, to a major aircraft manufacturer in the world. At the moment, uh, you know, historically, we've been involved in, uh, with Saab, with Augusta Westland, uh, and, and others, some of those programs have come to an end. The main program that we are working on at the moment is the A400M program. We also do have involvement in the business jet market, particularly with the uh, G150 program. And we are actively pursuing a, uh, a very strong sales campaign to win a new business. It is a key priority for us. And I think our long-term uh, objective and ambition is to uh, become more involved in civilian aircraft manufacture uh, you know across uh, the various uh, OEM programs with Airbus, Boeing, uh, Embraer uh, etc. So we want to enter into the civilian aircraft market single aisle wide, bo wide body regional jets and so forth. Other news making headlines this week, South Africa's nuclear program needs greater government commitments. Broad-based black economic empowerment progress has been made, with the amended act promising to fast-track change. And India and Africa are on track to meet the 2015 trade targets. Many companies are reluctant to commit to South Africa's proposed nuclear program until government shows a stronger commitment, states global manufacturing and engineering company DCD. Nuclear business development manager Alan Reid, however, says government can learn from successful nuclear programs worldwide. We believe that 59% threshold is correct. That was determined at the NIASA workshop uh, along with ESCOM, that given the full utilization of all South African resources, we can achieve 59% for a new nuclear build program. DCD in the past has been involved in all the nuclear build programs in South Africa. The Savari 1 reactor at Pelandava, we built components for that. The uh, PBMR contract uh, at Pelin, also at Pelandava, we built valve block assemblies, pressure vessels and the core and loading device. And we are currently engaged with ESCOM government and the vendors on the new nuclear build program. While much progress has been made in rolling out the broad-based black economic empowerment legislation first implemented 10 years ago, many areas of growth have not materialized and the new amendments are expected to close those gaps. A lot of progress 
has been made over the years to open up opportunities and to grow the economy. In this regard, the South African economy has expanded by 83% over the past 19 years. The day we see factories all over the country owned by black entrepreneurs taking advantage of our industrial policy action plan, we will be moving towards achieving the triple B double E goals. In the amendment bill, which drew broad support across a number of parties in the National Assembly, we've we introduced a new statutory definition of fronting. We've introduced that because that can be a touchstone against which to judge fronting transactions. And we've introduced a new office, a commissioner, that will deal with complaints about BE fronting and uh, can attempt to resolve them, but in the end of the day, if there's no resolution, I can't. Trade between India and Africa is on track to reach the $90 billion target set for 2015, says Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies. The African continent now needs to make a shift. We need to reposition ourselves from being producers and exporters of primary products and importers of finished products. We need to move up the value chain. We need to occupy the space in global value chains, which we are told is the growing and most dynamic part of global value chains. We need to become industrial producers and exporters. The option of simply producing value-added products and exporting those to the developed or the rich world is no longer available. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.